So I always find myself wondering what goes through creators' minds when they're thinking of an idea for a movie that involves an aquatic T-Rex that terrorizes a bikini-clad scientist and quite a few Jamaican gangsters on boats. Even more so, I wonder about the folks at Sci-Fi who say, hey, you know what? That sounds like a great idea. That's right, straight from the channel who brings you such hits as Sharknado and Sharktopus, we get Poseidon Rex. Yes, it's a swimming amphibious T-Rex that pops up and eats boats. And trying to figure it out is a treasure hunter, a man on vacation, and a busty bikini-clad scientist who literally wears that pretty much the entire movie. <laughs> there really isn't much more I can say about this film. Seriously, it's a T-Rex in the ocean. The T-Rex design is actually pretty cool. His little shrimpy arms have little fins on them, and he eats a lot of things. But he stays in the ocean for most of the film until he becomes landlocked in the end. The acting, well, it's what, it's what you can expect. But the fun factor that they had at Sharktopus, and it's just so stupid it's fun factor from Sharknado, completely gone from this movie. This is a simple cash grab for something, but I don't really know what. They don't deal with the dinosaur much. It eats a few boats, survives a lot of gunfire from gangsters, and dies in the stupidest way possible. Spoilers, his head explodes. The sheer amount of beach-going people means that costuming is really simple because it's board shorts and bikinis as far as the eye can see. But the biggest issue with the film is it gets bogged down with so much pointless story and not enough action. Like, how hard is it to describe you want to kill an aquatic T-Rex that's eating everything? So bottom line, the dinosaur looks great design-wise, but the movie, it's not so much. I'll tell you honestly what I'm waiting for them to do now is a giant mash of all these sci-fi movies. Let's do Poseidon Rex versus Sharknado versus Mega Shark versus Mecha Shark versus Sharktopus versus Giant Octopus versus whatever those things were in Atlantic Rim. Um, just put them all in a movie and let them battle out. I would pay to watch that movie because it would be so bad it would be good. So I'm going to give this movie probably a two out of five stars just for the fact that someone had enough balls to waste money to make this film. Seriously, it is... I wasn't even paying attention to half of it and I didn't miss anything except for the same T-Rex coming up eating the same boat. Remember in Dinosaurs, the mysterious monster in the swamp? That's pretty much what it looked like. The entire film... Okay, I'm done railing on this movie. Poseidon Rex, if you're really bored or you have a two-year-old that loves dinosaurs... I wouldn't even let them watch this movie. That's how bad it is. So that has been the spoilers review of the week.